almost everyone I know gets gaming laptops wrong because you only need to think about the basics. For example, a good CPU, a good GPU, enough RAM, fast storage and good thermals. But there is one aspect that governs all these factors and that's value for money. So today I'm going to tell you exactly what all do you need to consider before buying a budget gaming laptop. And I will also tell you some of the personal picks from this segment as well. And with that said, let's begin. Firstly, let's set a budget of rupees 1 lakh. With this done, let's talk components. On the CPU side, you are mostly looking at an Intel Core i7-13620H or lower within a budget of Rs. 1 lakh. Now, this is for the Intel side. Meanwhile, on the AMD side, you can get either a Ryzen 7000 or an 8000 series. Next up is the GPU and there are three main options here. An RTX 4060, an RTX 4050 and an RTX 3050 with 6GB VRAM. Under fruitful circumstances, the RTX 4060 would have been the only logical choice in this case. But because Nvidia thinks all its users are made out of money, literally, which is why we have to still put up with 6GB VRAM in 2025. For 1080p high, the RTX 4060 is the only option. But if you can settle for 1080p medium or low, then RTX 4050 and 3050 can also be considered. Up next is RAM and RAM is pretty simple. You are looking for at least 16 GB DDR5 and it needs to be upgradable and not soldered to the motherboard. Yes, I am looking at you, Infinix GT book. For an SSD, a PCIe Gen 4 drive is pretty cheap. You can get one for 4 to 5000 rupees and it is also something which you can upgrade easily. So don't stress much over it. Lastly, for good thermal performance, you will have to look at multiple things such as how the surface temperature is, how loud the fans are under stress and how much frame drops or CPU throttle you face. But for simplicity, we'll focus on CPU's maximum temperature and its power draw over time as stable temperature and consistent power usage are strong indicators of stable working CPU. Also, I will be comparing all these laptops against the Gigabyte Aorus 16X a laptop from one price segment above so you can clearly see how close in performance any one particular budget laptop is when compared to one of the best in mid-range. And in no particular order, let's begin with the Infinix GT Book. Now, I know, I know, I just dissed this earlier, but despite having soldered RAM, there's still some good things about this laptop. The first and the most important one is its price. It currently costs Rs 59,890 only on Amazon and for that you are getting Intel Core i5 12450H. You are also getting RTX 3050 GPU with 6GB GDDR6 VRAM and 16GB LPDDR5X soldered RAM. And here's how it performs in the Cinebench R23. In single core performance, the 12450H in the GT Book scored 1590, while in multi core it reached 9896. In the Gigabyte Aura 16X, the 13650HX scored 1778 in single core and 15980 in multi core test. And here's how the GT Book performs in different games. As you can see, apart from the Metro Exodus, the GT Book easily scores more than 60 FPS in high graphics settings at 1080p, which is a decent result. Now, if you look at laptop CPU power consumption, you'll find that it is trying to give performance bursts at some points and also for a fairly decent time as well. And mostly it is remaining between 20 watt to 50 watt region. Similarly, the temperature too does not exceed beyond 80 degrees and remains between 55 to 70 degree range most of the time. Overall, the power consumption fluctuates slightly, but it doesn't drop abruptly, which is positive and the temperature readings are also satisfactory. Now, a solid alternative to the GT Book could be the Lenovo Log 15, which costs Rs. 60,000 and packs a Ryzen 5 7235HS, the same RTX 3050 6GB variant and a hefty 24GB of DDR5 RAM that is also upgradable. And since the 7235HS and the 12450H have the same number of performance cores and nearly identical boost clocks, I would expect their overall performance to also be similar. But if you have to have it in the Intel flavor, then the next laptop on this list is the Lenovo Log 15 featuring the 12450H and the RTX 3050 6GB GPU. 
its performance in Cinebench R23 is slightly better than what we saw in the Infinix GT Book. And similarly, the Loke is also a bit better in terms of Time Spy and Fire Strike as well. And when it comes to gaming, the Loke also easily achieves 60 plus FPS in gaming at 1080p high settings and overall, it is around 7-8% to more powerful than the GT Book. Now, when we look at Log's CPU package temperature, the final profile looks very stable as the temperature remains squarely in the 70 degrees range. Moreover, the power draw remains also very fairly stable between 25 to 35 watt, which indicates very stable performance. Now, all these reasons make the Lenovo Log my personal favorite on this list. Chalo, next up, we have the MSI Cyborg 15. Now, this is easily one of the most affordable RTX 4050 GPU laptops on the market and overall, it is a great laptop. For 74,490, you are getting Core i5-12450H, an RTX 4050 6GB variant, 16GB DDR5 RAM and 512GB SSD. And in Cinebench R23, the 12450H mirrors its performance again and scores around 9688 in multi-core and around 1595 in single-core test. In 3D Mark's Time Spy and Fire Strike, it is noticeably better than the RTX 3050 but still trails behind the RTX 4060. And here's how it performs in different games, achieving 60 FPS in most games and even close to 100 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p high settings. When it comes to temperature profile, the laptop fairly maintains the CPU package temperature between 60 to 80 degrees and stays within the 70 degree range most of the time, which is impressive. Meanwhile, the CPU power consumption remains between 20 to 40 watts with some spikes here and there, indicating that CPU is performing well and delivering burst performance at a regular interval. Now, there is no real alternative to the MSI Cyborg in its price range. I mean, for a little more, you can find the Acer Nitro V with 13 Gen Intel CPU, RTX 4050 and some other similar specs. But I have personally used that laptop and its fans are just too noisy for my taste. So moving on, we have the Acer ALG. Now, this one is particularly for those people who want a slightly beefier CPU. Basically those who will be doing a lot of CPU intensive work. Which is why the Acer ALG comes with a much more powerful Core i7-13620H, RTX 3050, 16GB DDR4 RAM, which is sort of a downgrade by the way, and 512GB SSD. And here's how the CPU performs in Cinebench R23. The i7-13620H in the Acer ALG comes relatively close in performance to the 13650HX in the Aura 16X, both in single and multi-core performance. The RTX 3050 6GB performs about as you would expect in the Time Spy and Fire Strike, trailing much far behind the RTX 4060. And here's how the Acer ALG performs in different games. The ALG runs at above 60fps in almost all the games at 1080p high settings. Now, in terms of CPU temperatures, we are getting anywhere between 80 to 90 degrees with some sudden spikes reaching close to 95 degrees in some areas. And I think there is some thermal throttling going on over here as well. Similarly, in terms of power consumption, we see some spikes that reach close to 70 watts, but mostly the power consumption remains between 35 to 55 watts, which indicates a mostly steady flow of power with some dips. However, if you are solely looking for a better CPU for higher frame rates, then I would suggest go for a better GPU instead. And the last laptop on this list is the Lenovo Loke, featuring the Intel Core i7-13620H and an NVIDIA RTX 4060 GPU with 8GB GDDR6 VRAM. It also comes with 16GB DDR5 RAM as well and 512GB SSD. Now, I have actually done a dedicated video on this laptop. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description. Now that's it for this video. While this wasn't an exhaustive list, the pointers I shared should make it easier for you to pick up the right laptop, even if yours didn't appear on this list. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubts regarding any gaming laptop that I did or didn't talk about, let me know in the comment section below. My name is Yatnesh Dubey and I will see you guys next time.